All right, so in this video, we're going to be uh, going over the method of undetermined coefficients and the variation of parameters. Uh, for this first part, we're going to look over when to use which one. So we want to use the method of undetermined coefficient when we have some differential equation. So y double prime, it could be y triple prime plus 16 y prime. It, it could be any combination of, of y primes and y over here. But what matters is uh, over here on the right side of the equation, what we have. So when we use the method of undetermined coefficients, we can only use it if we have a constant, an e f function, a, uh, a t function, so just a regular variable, a sine or a cosine, or any combination of those. And uh, that that's how you know it's going to be a method of undetermined coefficients. All right, so now let's discuss when to use variation of parameters to find a uh, particular solution. So to use when to use variation parameters is when, again, you can have any differential equation on this side with any combination of derivatives and uh, y or any variable really equal to now you want to use variations of parameters when you have functions such as secant tangent cosecant uh, any trig function that's not sine or cosine you also want to use it when you have an inverse of a variable so before uh, we used it when it was t t to the ninth uh, t to the fourth when it's one over t one over t to the fourth you need to use variation of parameters uh, again a tangent's another um, trig function that's not sine or cosine so oh and the last one here we have a combination of e to the three t where we usually could use the method of undetermined coefficients but since we're multiplying by something that needs variation of parameters we should use variation of parameters. So if you're not really sure what to use, like I mean, it, it's a weird function, typically it will be variation of parameters. Variation of parameters will always work. Not always, but it, it, it's the catch-all. It, it'll work most of the time. Um, so you just kind of need to realize it's one of these functions. All right, let's now do a quick exercise. Um, the goal of this will be identifying the equations that can be solved using the method of undetermined coefficients. Because if you'll remember, uh, I said variation of parameters is kind of a catch-all. You can use it for uh, uh, pretty much any equation, but it's a lot easier to use the undetermined coefficients when you can. So the first one here, this can be solved using what? Well, since it's t's and e's only, it can be solved using the method of uh, undetermined coefficients. Uh, what's called undetermined coefficients you see? Save some writing. Okay, how about this one? Well, we have e's and t's, but it's to the sixth power. So what we'd have to do here would be expand this to the sixth power, then use the method of undetermined coefficients. So that applies to. Here we have a secant, and we know secant means we have to use variation of parameters. Here we have 4e to the negative 2t. You could use variation of parameters, but you could also use the method of undetermined coefficients. Uh, in the homework, it has you do one of these, where it is the method of under or where it tells you to use variation of parameters, but you could use undetermined coefficients. Finally, uh, this one, we have three terms over here, and uh, what you need to realize is, is we can apply superposition. Now, if you don't remember what superposition is, it means we could say this equation is the same as this equals this 
the left side equals this, and this equals this, and break it up into three different equations. So let me kind of move this out of the way um, so I can illustrate that. I forgot my uh, eraser, so I'll just use my hand. But basically, we have this. is equal to 2 sine at. And using this, we can use the method of undetermined coefficients. Now we write it again. And we have this. Well, negative e to the 2t, t to the fourth, that's also undetermined coefficients. Finally, we have y double prime minus 3y prime plus 2y is equal to 1 over t. Well, now this is variation of parameters. So when you have an equation that's equal to two or even three or more terms, what you need to do is you need to set the whole differential equation equal to one of the right right uh solutions or not solutions um uh functions so that's what we did here we broke it up into the three equations and we solve each one individually and then at the end you just add the general solution to all three particular solutions and we'll do an example of one of those in a minute but in general this should give you a good idea of when to use which one.